Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to talk about June favorites. And I love the month of June. June is my birthday month, but now getting to the favorites. I don't have that many this month, but the things that I have I'm really excited about. So let's get started. So first I wanna start with an eyeshadow and it's not a new eyeshadow. And I've always loved it since I first got it, but I got a lot of use out of it the last month in particular. I just found that it was a great go-to eyeshadow, whether I wanted some just a light bit of color or if I just wanted to smoke it up a little bit. And that's Max Satin Taupe Eyeshadow. This is a staple and it's really a favorite of really anyone who loves MAC eyeshadows. It's just the perfect sort of purplish taupe with a little bit of gray in it. And it just is beautiful. That's it right there. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not glittery. It just looks beautiful on the eyes. You can just put it by itself or you can add something else to it. You can smoke it out and make it almost like a smoky eye. It's just a beautiful eyeshadow. And I think if you're into makeup, this is a staple. The next thing I have is a MAC lipstick. And it's a really interesting color. It's part of their matte collection. And it's the color Stone. And this became really popular as a lip liner, but they now have it as a lipstick. And it's a really interesting color. You know, it's a little scary looking. But with the right look, this can look really awesome. And it's a really fun color to wear that even though we're getting more into summer, it's still something just fun to pull out, but it will definitely be a lot of fun going into the colder months as well. It's sort of a brown with a little bit of gray in it. And it's just a really beautiful, cool toned lipstick that's something really different and unique. And I've just been enjoying playing with this this month. So the last three makeup items that I have are all blushes. The first one is technically a blush, but I don't use it as a blush. So it's NYX Blush in Taupe. And it looks like this. And I've heard they've reformulated it um, than what it used to be. These, these are the new HD blushes. But I happen to love this. I don't know what it was like before. And I've been really enjoying this because it's a great contour shade. So it's a brownish color, but it's got a good amount of gray in it. So it has that that shadowy effect on your face. That's it right there. And it blends out really easily. It's really smooth, as you can see there. And it's not totally gray, so it doesn't look sort of dirty on the face, but it just has that right amount of cool tones and warm tones, so it's somewhere in the middle. And that makes it really great for contouring, and I've been really enjoying that. Plus, it's from the drugstore, so it's really inexpensive. So the next blush is another MAC one, and this is from their Wash and Dry collection. This is the blush Hypnus, and it looks like this. And by the way, the packaging is just beautiful, so that doesn't hurt either. But the blush itself is really pretty, and it's great for the summer. It's just a really bright peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer in it. And it's just a very simple color, but it's just very, very pretty. You can see that there. and. I've just been enjoying wearing it a lot going into summer. The last blush that I have is from Urban Decay and it's from their newer blushes, the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush. And I don't know if these will last 8 hours, but they definitely last a long time. And I've heard people talk about a lot of these, but I haven't really heard anybody talk about the color Rapture, which is what I have. And it's sort of a deeper, dusty rose color with a little bit of shimmer in there. and. It's very muted, almost has a plummy tone to it. And it's definitely not a summer color, but I've still been enjoying wearing it. And I know that I'm gonna even get more use out of it once I get into the colder months, but it's just a beautiful color. And it's so smooth when you put your finger into it, it just is so smooth. And you can see it's just a beautiful color. It has a, a lovely sheen to it. And I think it's really unique and I don't know why no one's really talking about this color. They're talking a lot about some of the other colors, but this is the one that really caught my attention and I'm just loving it. So the last thing I wanna talk about is another clothing piece, which is just crazy for me, but I'm excited about it. So it's this dress that I'm wearing right now. You can see, um, and it's short, uh, sort of mid thigh. This isn't new to me. I had this um, 
a while back I got it for my honeymoon and it was great for my honeymoon but I'm adding it in my favorites now because I've just been really enjoying it this month it's been very much a go-to dress for me because it's like a t-shirt you throw it on and it really is like a t-shirt it's that comfortable but it looks like you put yourself together which is my style in a nutshell and it's just it's got a super cute pattern on it. it's purple which is my favorite color and it's just such an easy thing to throw on and I've been loving wearing it it's very lightweight so as it's getting starting to get really hot here in St. Louis it's definitely been nice to throw something on that is very light and but still looks put together and doesn't look like I'm just wearing you know a piece of fabric and it's not too form-fitting so you know it's comfortable to wear as well and I've just been loving it. I hope that you had a great June as good as I did. Let me know in the comment section below what you love this month. I really want to hear what you liked. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to me already please hit the subscribe button. I would just love that. Hit the like button if you like this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye!